Good morning once again, SCR peeps. This is John, your favorite managing broker. And uh, I wanted to come back at you today with just a couple of things that uh, I'm seeing and something new that uh, we're probably gonna create a policy on uh, at SCR. First of all, with regard to total brokerage, um, I wanna thank a lot of you guys already for stepping up and uh, paying attention to my last video with regard to the five or six things I see on almost every contract um, that are being skipped over. Uh, those are really, really small things, but they're really, really important things as well. Uh, and so th those of you that have started going back and taking just that extra minute to make sure your contracts are, are really tight and, uh, and complete, I appreciate that very much. Uh, if the rest of you would do that, that would help me out greatly also. The other thing I'm seeing now that I've complianced hundreds of things in here is that some of you are labeling, um, regardless of what form it is, the exact same thing all the way down through the transaction. So all I see is maybe listing agreement, listing agreement, listing agreement, listing agreement, listing agreement, when it, in actuality, it's actually many different forms, disclosures, contracts, whatever. So in each section that you're doing, if you could make sure you're labeling it very clearly and very properly as to what it is, that would really help and um, make things go m much faster for everybody in the compliance queue behind you. So if it's a listing agreement, just label it as a listing agreement. If it's a exhibit, label it as exhibit A, seller's property disclosure, whatever it might be. Um, I'm seeing things obviously that are just listed all the same, but also just random numbers and that may be being generated by total brokerage or maybe you guys putting it in but just numbers doesn't tell me what's in there okay and i can't see what i'm compliancing so just label everything as clearly as you can and uh, i would greatly appreciate it and it will help me speed through compliance so everybody behind you in the queue and trust me there's a lot um they'll get through it as well um one thing I wanted to talk about today that's come up in the last couple of days are the so-called love letters from buyers to sellers in their contract. Um, NAR has come out with a statement discouraging this practice as um, some letters, depending on their wording, could become a fair housing issue, okay, of which you would get involved in. And of course, that would involve the company. Um, I would encourage you to tell your buyers if they're inclined to write such a letter to please don't and just explain why. Um, but in the event your buyer really wants to and he tells you to submit this with the contract, obviously as part of the contract, you are bound to do that. Uh, but that does put you in a precarious situation. So we may be drawing up a form uh, that hopefully would li limit your liability there. Uh, but it's NAR's stance and it's really our stance now that that practice should be dissuaded from taking place um, and just shouldn't be done anymore. Because a fair housing violation is very, very serious and very, very expensive fines. Uh, and it's just honestly not worth it. So anyway, I just wanted to bring those few things up to you. Um, I think we're doing great. Uh, I want to thank you all for your patience uh, with getting used to total brokerage. Some of you have taken to it like a fish to water. And I mean, I'm just seeing great things and other people are struggling still with it. And that's okay. We're all learning. We're all getting through it. And uh, the program is really, really great. And I think once all of you get the hang of it, it's, it's going to be a really productive tool for all of us, um, agents and staff. Uh, and for those of us that have those dual roles as agents and staff, it's going to be great for us too. So thank you all very much for your time today. Uh, thank you for your completeness and your thoroughness and your contracts. And uh, I hope you have a great day, a great weekend coming up, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.